everyone and welcome back to part two. It's Roberta again. And we'll go ahead and start with some playing cards. We all know I don't need any more playing cards, but I can't stop myself. And they're just so pretty. So I got these beautiful floral ones. Another set. Tulips. It's just so pretty just to just tuck in a card as they are. If you're going to do the altered playing cards, you could do that as well. And some pretty little butterflies. Next, I found this package of, so they're for, I believe, stamp collectors. So I believe it's to put your stamps in, glue it, but I thought that would make an awesome, fun little pocket. Let me see what I have over here. So you take it, glue it to a page, and then you got this clear film for that. Cute, fun little pocket or you can make it like a specimen card as well seal it up with some dried flowers in there that's fun so you see how many i have here so these are for sale there's some for sale in my etsy shop so if you're interested in any of those the link will be below so that's really fun ink them I might even coffee dye i'm not sure i'll have to try coffee dye it but if not you can just kind of coffee stain it because that's all going to be glued to the back of the page Next, some, these are some greeting cards. Beautiful Victorian imagery. Aha, I have a playing card with those, that same image on it. It's another fun thing for the journal. cards as well. We have these rabbits. Wait till you see these. These are so adorable. I couldn't like, look at that. Isn't that so cute? I couldn't not get them. <laughs> so cute. I hope it's not glaring too much. I might put put some together in the Etsy shop. I'm not sure. They're really cute. Like, oh my goodness. Like that is the center signature. That is so fun. So cute. The state sale I went to, it was a stamp collector because then it was classy in envelopes so yeah these are already hope it's showing up on camera but you can already see the yellowing oh, that one's next to the cardboard so that one of course yellowed more and these are three and a half or three and three quarters inches by six and three quarters inches so they're quite large envelopes are going to be fun to use and same as the other ones there's quite a bit here so these are for sale in, in the Etsy shop so if you're interested in any please check it out below so fun some dried flowers I'll tuck that right in I don't know would that fit in one of these too tight to fit but fill it with something fun and tuck it in a journal Those. next I found I just thought this little tin was so cute so I got it just to put my little pins in 
got that. And I found, it's just a few of these, but valuable paper envelopes. They're just large manila envelopes, but be fun. I found these doll record filler sheets. So I think it's if you had collected dolls, but those are really fun. And these are, I do have some of these for sale in the Etsy shop and it comes just like it is. I'm not opening the packages. So you get it still sealed in the original packaging because I thought this would be, even this would be fun to use in a journal. The belly band. A bingo game. That's the old one. I just got it really for the cards because they're already aged very well and they're just fun to always tuck in a pocket. So I got those. And then I got the little bingo with the bingo chips. Get on to next is a lot of fabric and threads. So half a yard of this. I just like the dark fabrics to use on the spines. So half a yard of that. And I found been wanting one of these, but I haven't wanted to go buy one from the store because I have a few just of the plastic stamps. Don't have the blocks on them. So found it for 50 cents. That one, and then this is sorry. So just another big thing of fabric, but I like this neutral, and it's already like off-white color. So if you're doing a spine, then that's nice. It just kind of blends into the background, the inside of the spine. So there's quite a bit of that there. So that'll last me a while. For this one, this one is just, I don't know, it kind of reminded me of old wallpaper, so kind of fun. It's a thicker, more like an upholstery fabric. Let's see, we got this bag. It was just a bag of scrap, fabric scraps. So I saw one in here I liked. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it all, but like. That's not really something I like, not that one. I like this one. So, I don't know, I guess I like the brown. <laughs> so I do like that one. And I'm just white. Mm, that's kind of interesting. And this one. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Almost like tapestry. Isn't that interesting? There's some little squares. Well, it's not bad. Not bad. Maybe a spring journal. There's quite a few I'll use, so. Wasn't a waste. Found a few little doilies, so. That one, that's cute. Thought that was pretty. That one I really liked. It's cute. Cut it out in a four and make it on a pocket. This one as well. And this one's a little damaged, but it is vintage. So it's got some areas of damage, but it'd be fun to use. It's already natural aging color. And this little one. 
I'm not sure, I just thought it was kind of, the colors were kind of pretty. And we got this whole bag of, I'm assuming it's like lace, eyelet lace. I'm not sure, I'm not even sure what's in here, so let's see. That's pretty. So that's the eyelet, and that's really flat because it hasn't been sewn onto anything, so that'll be good to use. That'll be fun. And then it's the same, but it's been sewed onto the seam. There's that. Oh. This one's a lot bigger, but that's pretty. There's quite a bit of that. This is what I saw and that I liked. Not pretty with the little flowers down it. Oh. That's pretty, and there's quite a bit of it in here. I just wrapped up some more eyelet. Oh yeah, there's quite a bit. Isn't that pretty? And just some little flat lace. So that's good because it doesn't bulk up a journal. Two more eyelet lace. Same thing for that as well. And some smaller ones. So, oh, that one's really cute. Look at how darling that is. Oh. How cute that is. So that's nice. So there's quite a bit in there that I will use. Let's see if we can push that out of the way there. Um, then I found this whole roll to me. It's like cheesecloth. So that's what I'm going to use it as for like reinforcing spines. So, and it's so much of it. But she was selling for a really good price. So I'm going to turn it away. I might have to, maybe I'll take off some and sell it on there. But this is really, to me, it's just like cheesecloth. So it'll be really, it's great to use. Cut pieces, collages, clusters. So it's all that. And it's already an off-white color. So it's almost like, you know, it's not even white. So you don't even have to coffee dye it or anything already. It's already that ivory off-white color. Next, I got a whole bunch of thread. So I was looking, I needed some different colored threads. So I saw this and it was just one price for all of it. So I picked it up so I'd have it. Sure. Oh, we're gonna make them pins. What's this one? Oh, some buttons. Oh, that was cute. So now I have every color imaginable of thread. Oh, that's just text. I'm just going to take those out. It's just thread. And I bought this one first, but then I went to another state sale and I couldn't turn this down because it was so adorable. So it's the vintage sewing box. It was just how it is. And when you, inside of it is, oh my goodness. So for the price I paid for this, you couldn't have gotten half of this. So it's some Pinking shears. That's the Wise brand, so there. I already have some. Some nice scissors. And 
course, lots more threads, needles, bobbins, clothespins, some thimbles, but I don't know much about thimbles, but those look like they might be, I believe they were, look like they're almost sterling silver. So if anybody knows anything about thimbles, let me know. So those there. Some buttons. I know this had a few other thimbles, but they were more like aluminum. They're not very heavy. Like that, and then like that. And you got another section. This one has the cutters. And nothing, some little rolls of yarn. These are neat little scissors. So it's like a Screw this in so you can only stop the start mount. And this is a bunch of eyelets. So if you watched my last video, I had found the smaller eyelets. I had some of this size, but now I got a bunch of different colors of it. There's that. Oh, that's a neat little screwdriver. I thought it was at all. And then in the bottom. more large needles. I love this tin. Now this tin is beautiful. And let me get it open. Let's see what's inside. So some needles. Some needles. Snaps. Another set of pinking shears. So, and then this. Look at that Avon box. It is so cute. I just got thread in it. Cry let setting, but not happening. Got a big bite that will work. So, somebody modern must have had it because we got a lint roller. At some point, I just threw it in there, and then sewing machine parts. Another thing, some more sewing machine parts, some rulers. Oh, this is neat. So, oh, I have that glassine bag already. Aged as well. That Allied Moving Company sewing set. Well, that's a year on it, but. Anybody happens to collect sewing sets and knows anything about maybe when Los Angeles 36. I don't know if that's from 1936. If anybody happens to collect sewing kits and knows anything about it, let me know. And this one. Buckle and belt. And the bobbin. little things and then just this case is just so cute so that was my find of the day whoops so like i said some of this stuff will be listed in my etsy shop so if you see anything you're interested in um go by there go ahead and stop and check it out if it doesn't happen to be listed and you are interested in anything you see, just leave a comment below and I'll see if it's something that I am going to be listing. Other than that, I appreciate you all joining me again. Have a great day. Bye.